Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. So far we saw the basics of security and you know the theory part. So from this lecture we will see how to really generate the certificate and how to use them. So the first step is we have to generate the certificate that is of type hex 509 for each Kafka broker. So okay I know uh, I think you haven't installed the Kafka server so but it can be anywhere so so this is my local so in my local actually I'm inside my uh, Kafka installation directory but you can do it anywhere so go to any of your folder maybe it's, it can be desktop or anywhere so there just by using the key tool generate the key store so so key store is nothing but this is the location where it will store all the certificates and the next one is validity so when your certificate will expire so for that we have to use key tool so make sure the key tool this utility is available in your machine if not you have to install so okay let me create the certificate so okay I created a new folder that is security so that is by using mkdir it, you can create any folder just but I am creating a folder name that is security now I am inside the security okay so if you see I don't have any files inside the directory security so I will create the certificate now so by using key tool key tool followed by key store and then the file name so we can give anything so I will give server dot key store dot jks and we can give some name alias that is I am giving it as localhost and we have to mention the validity so validity for my certificate is uh, I'm giving 365 days so preferably give it uh, you know higher value maybe give it 10 years or something so then generate key okay that's it so it is asking all those details it is asking for the key store password so whatever the password you enter remember so I enter some password Okay, I forgot that. Okay, one. Okay, I enter password. I'm again entering password. So now we have to give our details. So based on these details, it will create the certificate. So what is your first name and last name? So we can give it anything. So first, just I'm giving it as test test. I mean try to give the genuine information but this is just for the tutorial sake I'm giving it as test test organization also I'm giving it as test so mostly I'm giving everything as test uh, this is not recommended guys but just you know. okay so this is the information so if it is correct type s yes, otherwise type no so I don't want to change any information I gave you know all the fields as test okay so yes okay now it is asking for the key password for localhost so this is the another password okay so we can give it as okay another thing is return if same as key store password yeah I don't want to give different password I want to give the same password for the alias localhost and the key store so that's why I'm just entering it which means so whatever the password I entered here that will be applied to the localhost also okay now if you see ls we can see server dot key store dot jks so it means we created our key store file 